having been appointed as the Chief Justice of Nepal. And sir, thank you so much for gracing this occasion. And I am told that this is the first event uh, you are attending post taking over as the Honorable uh, Chief Justice of Nepal. So we are uh, really blessed in that sense. Honorable President of Saat Law, Chief Justice Sonam Toke, Honorable Justice Kalyan Shreshta, President of Saat Law Nepal and Chair for this session, Honorable Sumarji, Chairperson of the Constituent Assembly, Honorable Mr. Thapa, Secretary General of SAAC, Secretariat, other dignitaries of the dais, my colleagues from SAAC Law in the audience, dignitaries in the audience, Honorable Judges in the audience, Young law students, ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure yet again to be in Nepal, and I must congratulate the, the organizers for this event, which is Saat Law Nepal, Nepal Law Society, and International Idea. A great round of applause for all the students. I'm also glad to see the openness on the part of Nepal, chapter in Nepal as a whole, as they are seeking to learn from the experience of the legal experts in the region, vis-a-vis -vis their constitution-making process, which is, <coughs> which definitely deserves congratulations. I'm also delighted for a change to see established lawyers, the legal fraternity, to, to express their desire and craving to learn about the, the concepts and facets of lawmaking process. Ordinary lawyers hardly seek fulfillment. So this is another step towards openness from the legal fraternity, where they want to learn from the experience of the other. And why not? Because in today's civilized society, life and law run side by side. Nobody can live without law, nobody can live without getting affected by law. In fact, uh, a very eminent American lawyer, Joseph Hodges Quartz of the 19th century, he eventually became a diplomat. He said that none can live without law, and suddenly no one can die without it. Right from the birth till the departure from this world, law plays an important role. Each society's ethical values, social behavior, future aspiration of its people are reflected in its constitution, or in other words, in its legal system. Greater the respect for civility, greater the respect for civic mannerism, and lesser would be the need for formal legal system. <coughs> Talking about constitution, for instance, there are developed nations, there are civilized nations who hardly have a constitution. Partially written constitution, partially unwritten constitution. Then there is the United States of America, which, to my knowledge, I don't know, I'll stand corrected if somebody would be. It has a very brief constitution. I think the shortest constitution in the world, which has got about seven articles, and not very many amendments have been made to it. And then we have India, which has got a constitution which runs into more than 400 articles, 22 parts, 